second is the prime example of turning lemon into lemonade. Baby, I just love to see her shine in this way. Hello, it's Frame Lady Girl from Around the Way, where we have culture, conversation, and girl, let me do that. <laughs> Why am I like this? Hi, my love, your Raven Lady Girl from Runaway, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And today, today I'm coming to y'all with some commentary about your bra, the hot girl coach, Megan the Stallion, the one and the only, the very beautiful Megan P, y'all. If you can't tell by now, I really like Megan. I think she's very, very beautiful and, and aspirational. Y'all, before I get into my commentary, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I do anything that can involve in black people, black culture, black, black, like this and black like that, okay? Black skin, black hair, black hair. It's a black bone thing, period. Let's hop into it. So y'all, Megan was featured in an article and graced the cover of Women's Health, okay? And it reads, how Megan the Stallion became the ultimate hype woman for herself. Change your inner monologue for good, y'all. This is so in, in alignment for the season that I'm in in my life right now currently. And I wanted to take a time out to just pause, if you can, if you will, wherever you are in the sound of my breath, take a moment to ground yourself, breathe in, inhale, and exhale, and fuck this shit up, y'all. Women right now, especially a woman who has gone through things and you were kind of buried, so to speak, and you arise like the phoenix, this is what I'm attaching the imagery of Megan the Stallion of. The fact that she is out here looking as good as she does, performing in the way that she does, back like she's not, back then better in, than she was before, should be a telltale sign of what it means when you alchemize your pain and you really sit and you do the work, as Iyan Levanzette famously loves to say, and you come out on the other side of it. This right here hit so hard because when Megan came out with the um, with the uh, song Hiss and the video, the, the visuals, everything was so stunning. I mean, I knew that it was gonna be a different era, right? We all knew, we all felt it. Yes, there were some people who were, you know, still trying to come at her and this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 blah. But this is not what we're talking about. We're here to give Megan her things because Megan represents a lot of us, if you will, to be betrayed by a man for the world not to believe you or their family not to believe you, girl. And then you're left to pick up the pieces and don't nobody care because you are a black woman who should be strong enough to handle this shit. But let me give y'all to it to, to y'all real. Shit is different and things are hard. And just because I'm a black woman doesn't necessarily make me the, the strongest. Well, Girl, y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> y'all know where I'm going with this shit. Don't try to act like y'all don't know. Anyway, she is on the cover of the magazine and they do this really, really beautiful piece on her. And she talks about how um, after, you know, that fateful night in Hollywood Hills when Tory Lanez assaulted her or whatever, you know, I don't know the, the actual name for it because I'm trying to keep this video very nice and PG for the monetization people. She really kind of went through a storm that we all watched play out in front of us okay she kind of rose to power and she was kind of emerging into her own but i think even in her interviews you can kind of see her being a little bit more clear um being a little bit more confident really kind of you know not hiding behind the hypeness and the party girl in this set and the third so megan describes being in a very very terrible place um even after tory lanes was found guilty in, in 2022 um, she had so many people come up against her, not only just people, regular degglers, like people on Twitter and, and, and saying mean things about her, oh, she's a whore, all this, that, and the third, but I'm talking about people in her industry. Drake is still out here prancing and pooching, giving somebody an opportunity to flip it and turn it against Megan. We had men, grown men in the industry, and you can say, yeah, well, it's, it's hip hop and it's rap, but so what? It's different. She's still a girl. Um, she says that when she started feeling that way, she was in a really dark space and she did not even want to get out to perform in this article. Once she made the major success of WAP, um, she said it was so hard for her even to get out and to perform, but she also didn't want to let down her fans. So the anxiety of really not wanting to do something, but then the, you know, catastrophizing, no, what if I don't? And then I disappoint these people. And now um, I'm, I'm putting myself in a, a mindset of an artist and creator. Imagine you love to draw. 
right? It's something that you always wanted to do. And then now suddenly you start to get known and, and recognized for your drawings and your paintings and this, that, that in nature. You sign on, you get an agent, you're selling your art for millions of dollars. And now, you know, every other week you have to produce a certain amount or whatever, and it, it takes the fun away from it. And now you feel like your art, which is something that was used as an expression of freedom, um, now becomes your ball and chain. And it makes you sad, right? I always thought that her mental health was something that we needed to pay attention to because people said, oh, she was drinking, oh, she was this, she was that. She was numbing the pain. She was numbing the pain when people drink and they do drugs. They're just trying to escape. People do other things. People, you know, have said whatever it is. You're trying to do something to get out of your body so you don't sit with your emotions. She said that she wanted to leave the um, man she was with and took a, a hiatus off of social media. Okay, says therapy was just the beginning of Megan's healing. She also ended relationships that no longer served her and deleted social media from, from her phone to avoid trolls and doom scrolling. Then she was inspired to move her body as she started mending her soul. Working on myself made me get into working out because I needed to focus my energy somewhere else, she says. I'm used to working out to escape. I, I'm sorry. I use working out to escape to, and to get happy. Now she gets physical regularly. Okay, she's doing Pilates. She's working out on her one-on-one -on -one trainer and 40 minutes on the Stairmaster. So if you follow me on Insta Instagram, make sure you're over there following me on Insta. I don't really post on, on the page, but I am posting my stories and so I figure out which direction I want to go in on Insta. But follow me anyway, because this is how I feel like I stay in contact and real contact with most of y'all. The ones that do pull up on me, y'all know I love y'all. You know I love you, girl. <laughs> um, So she's, she's like basically saying um this working out thing is really helping and y'all i don't know if y'all can tell a difference but i'm feeling a difference i recently started working out i am i don't want to say i'm on a working out journey a fitness journey i just want to be physically healthy right i was in a really really um dark mental place myself and all in full transparency i don't really talk like this one over here because this is not what y'all come to see right but <laughs> Like anybody else, I'm human too. And a lot of times it's like, oh girl, where was you at two weeks? Three, three weeks. Girl, I'll be like, I was depressed for some time, y'all. Like real life depressed. <laughs> I'm laughing about it now. Like I really have anxiety in real time in real life. And so working out has been something um, that I've been able to implement into my life that I really see a real connection between body, mind, and soul and spirit in general, y'all. When I get on the Stairmaster, I promise you, I listen to affirmation music a lot. That's new because music um, carries vibrations and what you're saying and what you're hearing, what you're feeling, what you're consuming in your mind and your mental is going to play on how your body feels. So literally, I went to the gym like, fuck that motherfucker. I'm about to, you know, just to get that that feeling up off of me. And then it turns into, damn, like I'm really doing this shit. Like I'm really out here moving. Like I'm really trying. I'm really striving every day. I didn't give up. I, did, I didn't give in. And you start to say these mantras to yourself. And then before you know it, like... You know, you release that, what is it, the oxytocin girl, the dopamine, whatever it is that you get from working out, and it becomes a part of your healing. Working out for me is a part of my healing journey. That's a fucking bar, right? Because we always associate working out and getting fit into to, to vanity, right? Everybody doesn't want to go to the gym, they want to go to the BBL for the instant gratification, but how do you feel on the inside? What does your heart feel like? right what does how do you feel in your body and i'm not talking about how does your body feel or are you soft or is your pussy but i'm talking about how do you feel for real and i love that they highlighted her in such this beautiful way i think that she is one of the girls who are giving it to us for real because she still keep the she still keep a little mess with her she keep a nigga on her and she keep a little tequila in her i'm okay with that that's giving very much me like okay bitch we're going to be healing we're going to be doing these things i'm getting rid of all, all of these old people i'm getting rid of my depression and anxiety but i'm still outside i'm still gonna do me because even when she's like 28 bitch what what's up i love to see megan thrive because it, it just reminds me of like i'm grind. I, I haven't been shot but <laughs> um i was very deeply hurt right and it it it, it was a blow it was a blow and it takes you down like damn you get what i'm saying i can't believe like you you, you stuck with that but you can't stay there and that's what she said i, I didn't want to stay stuck and i didn't want to stay stagnant and you want to move that energy around you ever see people that are doing like somatic massages and they're doing all these different things you got to move that stagnant energy up off of you i think that megan in this new era 
is going to fucking win. And it was, I was so inspired when I read this article. Y'all know it's when you, when you out here reading articles, sister. Okay, it's like, wait a minute, what was she talking about? The pictures, let's talk about the pictures, okay? Let's get into the looks. Beautiful, stunning, amazing. I love it, Picasso. Like, Megan is out here looking better than she ever did. And I really, people are saying, like, why is she in this health, woman's health magazine? Because woman's health is, is important, physical and mental. And again, women's health is not even a thing. Women's health is usually not even a thing, a topic of discussion, as long as your stomach is flat and you got the BBL and your butt is sticking out and you can produce enough or whatever, however you, wherever, however you move and groove through this world, it's fine. But there's so much more to discuss about the connection between health, mental health, physical wellness, and everything like this. So wherever you are under the sound of my voice, I hope that you can have a moment to read that article and be inspired. Know that you can come out on the other on the other end of things and it's not over until it's over. And every day, that not even every day, every moment you can decide to change any of your situations that you may be going through. It's all about a mental, it's all about a mindset. And adding that physical piece in there really boosts you. That's all I'm gonna say, that's all that's it. Let me know if you're gonna read the article, how do you feel about the looks? Cause I know we'll be here for the mess. And also too, we're gonna be giving it up a little bit differently. Um, just FYI, because honestly, I'm coming to this new era where it's like, I wanna be more, I don't wanna say authentic because I am authentic girl. I, obviously girl, I'll be up here, you know, cutting up. But I want to share more about, I wanna be more vulnerable. I wanna be more real because I, when I heard the song, his i'll give you a for instance i was listening to it because obviously girl it was a megan drop let's see what it's talking about when i tell y'all the way i was so emotionally impacted and i can even get choked up now because i'm telling you i was i was down bad sister <laughs> i was down bad y'all and um you know when you have a creative outlet you're supposed to use it in a responsible way and so even if it's just a couple of us if of us here, y'all, I'm here too, you feel me? And I, and I wanna relay that because you just never know. And that's truly who I am in my heart of hearts. So here we are, right? Okay, this pussy the press. Well, no more, okay? This pussy is blessed. That's my remix. <laughs> I'm not even about to tell y'all how I had to give it a little remix because again, music and those things and how you feel plays a part of you know the overall healing journey. So um, hope your pussy is blessed too. And I hope you're having a good day. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.